What's up, guys? Derek, moreplatesmoredates.com. Today, we're going to be talking about what steroid cycle I think The Rock uses. So, if you look at The Rock's physique current day and how he looks preparing for roles in his most recent movies, those who don't weren't around or don't remember what he looked like back in the beginning of his Hollywood debut kind of thing wouldn't realize how much muscle he's actually packed on over the years. And if you go back as far as to his younger, when he would be producing far more natural testosterone in his thirties or his twenties, he has significantly less muscle mass than he has now. So can you attribute that to just learning how to train at an older age? No, obviously not. The guy is committed to working out and has been for years on end. Nothing's changed in that regard. All that has changed is the amount of hormone support. So it's pretty damn obvious looking back at him when he was younger and he would have been more capable of packing on more muscle than now that he is probably 30 to 40 pounds heavier than he used to be. We're not going to argue with the obvious fact that this guy is using some sort of performance enhancing drugs and whether that can be constituted as performance enhancing or not can depend on whether you decide that high end normals of exogenous testosterone or not are performance enhancing or not, which they obviously are. But with that being said, what do I think he uses specifically? Going back to what he looks like in young age, and what kind of genetics this guy's dealt with is what I want to start with. So if you look at his dad, he has some pretty damn good genetics. And I would argue that his dad, well, depending on how much hormones he uses, of course, if any, I'm assuming this guy was not natural either. But looking at his physique in comparison to Dwayne Johnson in current day, I would actually argue that his dad had a better physique than The Rock has now. When you look at them side by side, the development of his dad is actually significantly better, in my opinion, in many regards. And um, this guy could easily be a bodybuilder if he wanted to be. And The Rock, not so much. The Rock is less genetically gifted in the muscle bellies as well as in... Uh, just certain areas of his body that are underdeveloped relative to the rest. Like he's obviously has a big frame, but his musculature itself, the muscle bellies lack development. So how much hormone assistance would he need to get to where he is now that you see him in current day where people think this guy is like the biggest monster in Hollywood, essentially, and he has the craziest physique. And don't get me wrong, by average person standards, he has a great physique, but he has a large frame. First of all, his bone structure is very, very wide. If you see him when he was 15 years old, you can see clearly that he literally looks like a adult 30 year old here and he's 15 years old so the guy's always had like a dominant frame and presence and the amount of muscle he's packed on in that frame though like while it doesn't sit well necessarily how much exogenous hormone support do you need to build what the rock currently has i don't think that much i think a lot of people assume he's probably using way more than he actually is when in reality i wouldn't be surprised if he's getting by with trt dosages of test a couple I use a GH and maybe if he wants to spice it up a bit, he might throw in a bit of nandrolone in there for the quote unquote joint support when in reality you're just getting additional nitrogen retention via this additional literal steroid use. So this is pretty common in my opinion in more recent years with all these anti-aging clinics coming out, professional quote unquote doctors giving out these prescriptions for essentially mini cycles for guys. So the rock he is obviously able to pack on way more muscle than he was back in his 20s and his 30s when you would be primed as a athlete. And the fact that he has way more muscle now than before obviously spells to the very obvious drug use that this guy is deploying to maintain what he maintains now. With that being said, it's nothing insane. This guy isn't able to step on an Olympia stage or anything like that. He maintains a good physique, but a lot of that is dictated by his bone structure, his height, his dominant presence in general. And I think the amount of muscle mass he has in particular could easily be supported by a couple hundred milligrams of test at most, maybe 300 if he's really pushing it, but I doubt it. And if he wants to gain size for a role, I wouldn't be surprised if he pushes the envelope a bit and maybe pushes the test up to 300, closer to 400. But the most likely outcome I would say is that he's probably working closely with a doctor or an anti-aging clinic that closely monitors his health markers this guy's obviously a massive asset to his family he wouldn't put himself in a position where 
He would do stupid, reckless things with performance dancing drugs, with things like Trenblone, I would think, with things that are just unnecessary to take for what he's trying to accomplish. And I doubt he's using anything more than bioidentical, quote unquote, hormone replacement therapy, which would involve pushing his testosterone levels to high normal levels, likely, you know, on the borderline of super physiological, if not right over that, essentially bordering on mini cycle territory year round. A couple I use a GH for quote unquote anti-aging health benefits and maybe a bit of nandrolone at most, but I highly doubt he's using anything more than that. And his physique is good by average person standards, but it's nothing insane that couldn't be supported simply by normal hormone replacement therapy protocols that are commonly prescribed through uh, clinics in the States and by these new age doctors that essentially allow guys to walk around with topped out bioidentical hormone support year round on the high end of what would be possible naturally and typically impossible naturally, to be honest. If you look at The Rock back in the day, again, like it's not like he's out of shape. He's a fit guy. His fitness has been part of his lifestyle, but the amount of muscle he could support as a natural, it's just not night and day between then and now in current day when this guy's walking around probably 20, 30 pounds heavier. And for some of the roles he did where he really bulked up like pain and gain with Mark Wahlberg, I wouldn't be surprised if he pushed the envelope with his dosages a little bit to bulk up. But I highly doubt they really went outside of the realm of within striking distance of 200 milligrams per week of testosterone. A couple I use a GH and that's probably mostly it. It's probably the basis of his year round use, to be honest. And I highly doubt he uses exotic compounds. I highly doubt he deploys anything outside of the realm of necessity for supporting what he needs to support. This guy's not trying to be a 300 pound Olympia mass monster. He's trying to be jacked looking for Hollywood roles, but nothing excessive and absurd to the point that he'd be risking putting his health far more in jeopardy than necessary to retain what he needs to, to maintain his physique for whatever limitations Hollywood has for what they see as fit because this guy clearly is seen in the industry as one of the most jacked guys and you know by bodybuilding standards obviously his physique is not crazy impressive although he does display fairly developed musculature it's nothing insane in comparison to a lot of physique and fitness and bodybuilders we see on social media nowadays but for the hollywood crowd this guy is like top of the heap jacked out of his tree and it can definitely be supported via you know high-end trt and i wouldn't be surprised if that's what he's been deploying for the past however many years to main this, maintain this physique that is definitively enhanced in contrast to his younger self, which would have been more primed for muscle gain had he been natural now and then. So again, just like the difference between when he was younger and now just spells the fact that just really, you know, sheds light on the fact that he's definitely enhanced now, in my opinion. And I think that's probably the extent of his use though, to be honest, and probably only pushes the envelope for roles once in a while, because it just wouldn't be necessary otherwise so anyways that's about all there is to say about that if you guys have a different opinion let me know what you think he's using in the comment section down below or what you think is required to support the lean mass that you see in his roles that he has in the fast and the furious movies or in some of his more prominent roles that like really highlight his physique let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below please like subscribe check out my blog moreplatesmoredates.com check me on instagram at moreplates underscore more dates facebook twitter snapchat etc Talk to you guys soon.